Welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show and my neighbors having some work done. So occasionally you might, because I've been hearing it all morning, this truck backing up. Beep, beep, beep. So anyway, you hear that beeping. That's what's going on. Good morning and good afternoon for those of you that watch the replay. And thank you all for hitting that like button. I got up to 125 likes on a video um, last week. And uh, when you hit the like button, YouTube won't flag me as a useless two-bit real estate agent. So I appreciate that. <laughs> So we are going to look at um, average sales prices around the valley in, in certain cities. So stay tuned. We'll find your city. And uh, it's interesting. I mean, you all know the story. Prices have gone up and they've gone uh, up exponentially all across the valley. We have 7581 homes on the market today. And this week and then the next week, uh, that's going to be about it. Uh, we're going to peak. So if history tells us anything, November, December, it's just downhill from there when it comes to listings. We're still hanging in at about 4,000 homes coming on every week and consistently 3,700 of them are going under contract. Um, those two numbers will taper back down in November, December, and we will just wait and see what happens in January because it's anybody's guess what we're going to see. And it's... Uh, uh, but I can tell you that two weeks from now, we're going to be going, oh, we only have 7,200 homes on the market. And December could be painstakingly low. Uh, I don't know. I'm guessing. But I'm just looking at history and saying, well, that's usually what happens. But what we have here is there's a new 1,100-acre master plan community in the works for the far west valley. It's out uh, Tonopah. It's about an hour west of Phoenix. And there's a lot of building going on out there. And there's a lot of industrial building going on out west or right along the 303 corridor, which is where most of these people will probably work because I can't imagine living this far out and coming into Phoenix and going to work. <laughs> but... Uh, Vermaland has begun efforts to develop an 1,100-acre master plan community, community in Tonopah. 2,500 single-family homes and 500 multifamily units in commercial and industrial space. So that's going to be good for out there. That's a lot of homes, my friends. And uh, that's going to be, uh, you know, they announce this and they, they develop it. It's, you're still two years, maybe three years out before uh, you see see anybody moving in out there. But there's a lot of that going on in the West Valley and a lot of it going on in East Mesa and Queen Creek as well. So uh, the permits are out there. The building's coming. It's just lagging. So, so what's going on? Let's just jump right over now to the prices, average prices. Now, keep in mind that an average price um, is, it all depends on the mix of the homes that sold. So if you see something that went way up, it doesn't mean that all the prices went up by that percentage of all the homes. It just means during that month, there might have been a couple million dollar sales and uh, very few sales in the 300,000 range. So it's a mix. It's an average. But here's uh, starting with Anthem. Take a look at this. Monthly sales price average right now is $551,000 in Anthem, which kind of matches uh, almost right here, which is in June. Um, dope wallet says dope wallet like that in the current market. Would you buy a condo in Papago to live in for a year and then use it as an Airbnb or spend more and get the AFH AFH with a much higher mortgage? Not sure what an AFH is. Um, so you're asking if you want to, if you know, get a condo and use it for an Airbnb all depends on where it is. And if the association is going to allow you to do it, we're seeing some clamping down on that. So it's not a bad strategy, but you have to remember, you've got to be both uh, an expert in the real estate and tourism industry. And uh, that can be challenging. So make sure you understand what the rules are for the HOA. You know, and, and Kellogg Root says, what about uh, water with all this building? Hey, that's a concern. That's a very real concern. I don't know, um, but I, I think it's going to be a problem. Apache Junction, average sales price is going down. We're at $363,000. Not sure what why that is. Arizona City, this is south of Phoenix by about an hour. And uh, they're sitting there at an average price of two fifty four. dollars Avondale, Avondale's seen a lot of growth, a lot of building. We're sitting there at $401,000. Buckeye, Buckeye, same thing, a lot of growth. 
uh, mostly new builds, $420,000 there. Casa Grande, south of Phoenix. This is where that big, uh, I think it's an electric car plant that's gonna be, gonna be uh, built. So we're seeing building going on down there and the average price is 331. Cave Creek, nice area, average price. $841,000. If you haven't been to Cave Creek, if you've just moved here, take a drive up on the weekend. It's absolutely breathtaking. Chandler, big mix of homes in Chandler. A lot of high-end homes, a lot of um, lower-end homes, but the average comes out to five forty-nine. dollars It's been consistently going up. A lot of uh, Intel expansion going on in Chandler. And El Mirage uh, climbing up as well, three fifty-two. dollars and then there is, don't let me lose my place, Fountain Hills here. Now, Fountain Hills is going to ping pong all over the place because they've got a lot of high-end homes. So you can sell a $4 million home one month, and it just throws all the numbers off. But the average right now is right around 816000 But you can see it zip, 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 zip all over the map. Consistently up, though. Gilbert, probably one of the most consistent markets, and it is sitting at 582 and then we look at Glendale. Glendale is up to 442. Things are smoking out there. Gold Canyon, one of my favorite cities, but look at this. Boom, boom, boom. Down, down on the average and 493. Uh, hard to explain why it's going down right there, except I think I can just say it's seasonal. They have a lot of uh, se seasonal um, visitors out there. So in the summertime, not a whole lot going on. Wasn't going on here, wasn't going on here. So hope my mouse isn't making you dizzy there. Goodyear, nice area, kind of consistent. 481000 is the average sales price in Goodyear. Levine, it's going up there, 442 and Litchfield Park, which is out by Goodyear, sitting there at 588. Maricopa. Maricopa has been consistently going up, but their inventory has been going up as well. Let me check that out for just a second. Because um, the, the other thing about, I got to check this box off here. I don't want all. I just want Maricopa. The... They have so much new building going on down there. You can see that our listings have gone up to 294. What I believe is going on in Maricopa, we're well above 2020. Um, here's my beep, beep, beep. We're well above 2020 levels, but I think it's because people are gravitating towards the new builds in Maricopa. Uh, Bryce Goodman, Nicola Electric, I saw a test truck on the highway, eerily quiet, their CEO, is under fraud investigation and had to step down. Might cause some hiccups in an already rocky company. Wow, yeah, I had not read that, that's interesting. So Mesa, Mesa's got a lot of growth, a lot of expansion going on, and their average price is 494. And Paradise Valley, this is where the high-end homes are. Check this out. The average, average sales price, 4.2 million. Now. That means there's a couple six million dollar homes that sold because you know the average price here was 2.29 million. So this can be kind of I don't want to say misleading. It doesn't mean the prices are exploding up there. It just means again the mix of homes. So and uh, Peoria, Peoria a little bit of a dip, but still at 518 thousand. Phoenix consistently growing at 508. Roll this mouse down here again. Queen Creek. You are consistent and you are 513,000. Let's see, we have Scottsdale. Scottsdale's average right now is 1.1 million. It's kind of along the same trajectory as what we were seeing in Paradise Valley. And we have Sun City. Sun City is up 340, 21. Sun City West, same neighborhood. Over 55 community, $422,000 more. The homes are newer in Sun City West. That's why there's such a difference between that and Sun City. Sun Lake, south of Chandler. We are seeing average of four sixty nine, dollars but there are a lot of homes down there between two dollars and $300,000 as well. And we have Surprise up in the far west valley, which is growing like crazy, $436,000. And then we come down to Tempe, and Tempe's at... 516,000, and finally bringing us home, Tolleson, 
where they're building that huge 1,100 acre area, 400, $390,000 dollars. Hope that gives you a little snapshot of what's going on in the valley. They're all up. Average uh, sales prices are consistently up. We have dropped to, according to the Case Shiller Index, uh, number three nationally in growth. From June to August, we prices went up two point seven percent, I believe it was, or two yeah two point seven percent, and that dropped us into third place. So you know that's that's a good thing. It's going to be very interesting, folks, to see how all this building shakes out, how long it takes, what the impact's going to be, and of course the water. I really have no idea how that's going to shake out. Um, we definitely need the water. So I hope you enjoyed taking a look at all these different cities and uh, I hope I covered one of your cities. If not, shoot me an email at rick at rickhelps.com. Have a great day.